global COVID cases, as well as the as well as a protest against masks on the streets of London and an illegal rave attracting thousands of people outside Bath. How does the Secretary of State um, imagine that he can persuade people, the public, to get behind his government's public safety message? Well, I'm glad to say, Mr Deputy Speaker, that the vast majority of people respond positively to the public health messages that we've been putting out throughout, um, and um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very important part of the policy. Thank you. Mr Deputy Speaker, the Secretary of State reminded us of the importance of a vaccine, and I was interested to hear on the radio as I drove into Parliament today a representative of a drug company saying that we may have a vaccine by October, and a doctor based at the university telling us that today is a great day. Does the Secretary of State agree? I am cautiously optimistic. Uh, the team are optimistic. Uh, and um, my job is not to speculate on the likelihood of the Oxford vaccine coming off. It is to make sure that, should it come off, we are ready. Minira Wilson. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. The £3 billion for the NHS is, of course, very welcome, and he has rightly passionately spoken about protecting the NHS. But if I could respectfully remind him, he is the Secretary of State for Health and Social Care. And I have real concerns about social care being overwhelmed in, uh, if there is a second surge, with uh, hospitals having to very quickly discharge people into the community, as we've seen with the first wave. So please, can he tell the House what further measures and package of support will he announce for social care? Well, of course, of course um, it's important to support social care as well, as we have financially throughout this, right from the start. Um, and in terms of the discharges from hospital, of course, the vast, vast majority of those were into the community with care packages. Uh, so social care is also uh, a, a very important part of this. We announced the money for uh, the NHS uh, last week, but we continue to uh, look at what we can do to support social care too. Andy Carter. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. And uh, can I thank my right honourable friend for the update he's given today? Particularly welcome the news with regards to the vaccine programme. Um, I wonder if I can ask the Secretary of State to provide us with a little bit more detail about the work being undertaken to look at the risk of getting the virus again. Um, how long does he think it will be in, until we know whether having antibodies will give us some form of immunity? Thank you very much, uh, Mr Deputy Speaker. Well, um, the, uh, we, we are undertaking this uh, research into immunology. It's incredibly important for, uh, for not only for people uh, like me who've had the disease um, to know the likelihood of getting the disease again and the likelihood of transmitting it again. Um, and both are very important for obvious reasons, one for personal health, the other for the public health. Um, but it's not just about the antibody response. It's also about the T-cell response. Uh, and um, b both of these are different parts of the immune system uh, responding. Uh, we are making progress in our understanding of that, but not yet enough to be able to recommend that people who have had the disease or have antibodies uh, act in any uh, different way to the rest of the community. Antonio Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker.